What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back on a black desert. It's nighttime here and we are at the swamp. You guys know I love this area. I talk about it all the time. It remains one of my favorite areas to farm because it's just so good. It is so good. So until I find something better than this, it will always be my favorite. We're starting at night in the rain. Slaughtering some swamp night. Is my, uh... Can, can, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Can you, uh, do some attacks, buddy? Can you help me out here? Look at that. I don't, I don't even have to do anything. I can just sit here, run around, he'll kill everything for me. Look at this. And he's not attacking anything anymore. Hey, do your thing. Well, this just makes things a whole lot easier. I don't even have to do anything. He'll literally swallow, swallow, slaughter everything for me. All right, let's go up here. We hit level 24, which is nice. We're we're almost to the let's go ahead and level up, um, or skill up, I guess. We're almost to that stage. Okay, game. Put me on the ladder. Thank you for killing him. Oh, look at that. He's going to hang out down there and slaughter stuff and give me some free experience. Nice. Well, maybe not. I guess I assumed eh, he does give me experience. It's probably reduced experience, but he does give me some experience. All right. So now we need to go kill more swamp nagas and foggins. Or I guess nagas. We're not to the foggins yet. Kind of wish it wasn't like... Okay, it's getting a little bit lighter in game. I'm starting to get some skills down here. Kinda like these skills. Like, obviously we know I like that skill, but I'm starting to get down some combos and whatnot. Obviously, it'll pick up once we have some more stuff unlocked, so I'm looking forward to that. There's a lot of different, like, dodge combos into this thing that you can do. They actually work fairly nicely together. Uh, they're a little bit awkward to pull off, but they do overall... They work pretty nicely together. I won't say they're, like, perfect, but... There's plenty of them that are an attack into using the skill. Like, you can pretty much combo it off of anything. Like, let me find a group. Can you guys come over here so I can have a little bit bigger group? So it's like, if you hit into anything, you can quickly... Like, I just did a regular RBLT, or RBRT, or ugh, RBRT combo, and then you can just combo straight into it. it. It's... It might just be the ultimate combo finisher, so, like, when I get done with a combo, I just immediately roll into that attack. That might be, might be the best option that I have right now. Because literally anything you do, you can, you can follow it up with that. It, it like, is, hello? Oh, I don't have any empty slots. Okay, into my mailbox. Let's equip this and this. Better gloves and whatnot, and we'll open up some more spaces. Probably need to, probably need to go to a town and sell some stuff. If we're being honest, Let's complete this now. Okay, artifacts of the Naga. So now we're gonna go do that one side area. I'm gonna do a little bit of farm here. Let's get to level 25 at least before I jump ahead a little bit here so let's hop back over here this should take like 10 seconds i like that attack it's probably a better pv pvp attack than it is a pve attack but it's still a very good attack it's the ltb well when there's an enemy pretty pretty decent i need to figure out I need to figure out an actual rotation, because right now, I'm mostly just comboing the same stuff together, which I know is a rotation, but overall, I could find a better rotation than I have right now. But, alright, so let's go ahead, we'll cut ahead to a little bit more action here, I'll go ahead and advance the story, and I'll see you guys in just a sec. 
All right, so we need to kill some orcs, but for some reason there are orcs here. So yeah, I'm just gonna kill these things. So there it is. Well, I'm gonna kill you. There's four out of the five we need, and here is the five out of the five. Usually, I go all the way over there to complete this, but luckily for me, I don't know why these orcs have ventured over here, but they did, so <laughs> completed that before we even discovered the scout that's injured over here. So, we'll clean up these scouts over here. I went ahead and skipped. There's a spider kill quest, obviously, before this, and I totally skip that because no one wants to watch me run around and kill spiders. Even when you have, like, garbage weapons, you still, like, one-shot those things. Hello? There we go. I talked, talked to the wrong scout. Okay, so now we, yeah, we gotta go kill 35 orcs. It's kind of, I always like this part. You kind of cross this bridge over here. It's kind of like the divide between the orcs and, that, and the camp back. What? You just did, what? He did not get one-shot? I am kind of spooked. I need to, that, I like that attack, but I have to remember, in order to do the attack that I, this is really dark, in order to do the attack I actually want to do there, I have to hold forward. If I don't hold forward, it does this weird, like, back attack, and it sucks. That attack sucks. This is so dark. I, I look over at my capture software, and actually it's not that dark. It's, like, dark, but it's not as dark as my TV, so... At least it's not bad for you guys. But it is really dark for me. I can barely see. This part's this part is uh, actually I do like this area for farming as well. There's a lot of early game spots where there's like pretty good farming, but then it's like it's the early game, so why are we farming here? But this is one of the areas that is very good. There's a really high mob density, and there's a lot of clusters. It's high mob destiny and high amount of clusters, which is really nice. I really like that. Okay, so I need to look for the quartermaster. If I remember correctly, we gotta get to the road. Let's see. Let's see if I can remember where she is. She's like over... I see her. She's over there. You just gotta get to... If you get to the main... Oh, here we go. We can try this again. How badly am I going to get murked this time? Alright. Come out of the rift, buddy. I'm going to get absolutely clapped up again. Where is my, uh, where is my wolf buddy? Is he just like... Hello? Is he just non-participant? Where is he? Oh, there he goes. I can't see him, but... Sure. There's so many enemies here. This is such a cluster. Okay, okay. You know, nope, nope, nope. We tried. We tried. It didn't work. We tried. All right, we're out of there. I don't know. Oh my gosh, she's right behind me. I ran out of stamina. Go, 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 go. Is he still chasing me? He is still chasing me. Okay, everybody out of the way. Everybody out of the way. At least my uh, my buddy, the beast, is cleaning up enemies as we run by. Getting me a little bit of experience for... Okay, maybe I don't know where... Sh Are you still... Okay, no, he's not. I was going to say, is he still following me? There she is, over there. I knew I saw her, but I couldn't remember. <laughs> After running for my life, couldn't remember exactly where she was. This is one of the tougher ones, because you never really know exactly where she's going to be. Or, well, that's not what I mean. You don't know exactly, like, in relation. I know she's like, get out to the road, and then she's like, to the back corner. But I, it's a little bit hard to find sometimes. I remember the first time I did this, I had the hardest time finding her. I obviously, I have it, like, memorized now. I kind of, I know where it is, because I've played through this so much. I think the first couple of times I did it, it actually gave me a little bit of trouble. Now I know pretty much where everything is in this game to start with. Levels 1 through 56, you're not going to find someone... Well, that's not true. You won't find many people, you know, that have a better knowledge of the very beginning of the game than I do. Now, late game, yeah, yeah, that, I am 
nowhere near even close to being knowledgeable about that. But, I will say, at the very beginning of the game, I've done this a lot, I love the beginning of the game, I feel like I'm pretty knowledgeable about it. We just need to get to work on learning end game stuff. I need to find more cuts. And I wish that attack had a little bit more range. I think, I think just because of the animation, I feel like I think it has more range than it actually does. I think it has, like, some crazy awesome range when it really doesn't have that range. It's a little bit more close to the vest than I act like it is. I swing it wildly like it's got, like, uber range, like... Go for it. There we go. See, it's like such a good attack. I love the attack, but it's just a little bit too... I don't know. can't think of the right word. It's just a little bit too short of strikes. It's almost like um, your character like chokes up on the sword a little bit. And because they choke up on the sword, it turns into a little bit too much of a... It almost, for me, because I'm anticipating it to hit so far, it ends up being a little bit of an liability attack because I'm thinking, like, from right here I should be able to hit him. Well, that was not the correct... You know what I mean. Like, right there, I thought I could be able to hit that small orc and I missed him. You do take a step forward, which does help close the gap a little bit for you, but overall it's still a little bit... It's a little bit tight on the on how much range it has. Sometimes I feel like I get a little bit better strikes, uh, and sometimes I feel like I don't get as good as strikes. It's kind of... It's tough. It's kind of tough to nail it down and know exactly how and what I am what I want, I guess. I don't really know how else to phrase that. Okay, so Orc Hunter Brody. We just talked... Orc, Orc Hunter Brody's the, the bro that helps you out in... Uh, He's the bro that helps you out with the, uh, oh my gosh, the Abyssal Weapon, the Black Abyssal Weapon. Brody, Brody's mega clutch for that. Brody actually, eh, I don't know. Brody actually, probably the way that I play my Sork, probably was more important than the, the big dude that was, that's like the tank character. They give you a tank character and they give you the ranged character, um... Probably the range character because my sork I'm all up in your face with my sork. That's just how I play it. I, I would like call it more of like a high chaos type play style that I play with my sork. It's all about comboing in and out and high chaos in your face type gameplay. Which is probably how I would play it in PvP. Don't know if it would work as well as it does when I think about it, but that's probably how I would play it. It's just a lot of, it's a, it's limited defense, it's a lot of damage, that's just kind of how, it's kind of how I choose to play it. Which is not my normal play style, like in Dark Souls, I take a much more defensive passive play style in that, and even in like, games that aren't melee based, like Call of Duty and stuff like that, I either play a very in your face style, hard pushes and moving cover to cover, but... Or, or I'm very defensive and very passive, progressing towards streaks and stuff. Not really camping, but like hard progression, like spot to spot, kill to kill. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to explain right now, but just the way I play any character in this game. I don't play any of the characters in this game real defensive. I'm mostly just full on DPS. As much damage as I can put down range is, is better for me. Which tends to work out, it, I, I could probably use a little bit more defense in my playstyle, but overall, I, I have found that it works out fairly decently just to be full on DPS. Uh, world bosses being a little bit more defensive because I'm not the highest level is, is a better strategy than like trying to just put as much damage down range as I possibly can. Uh, but other than that, it, it's pretty relatively um, 
beneficial. It's been be it's been perfectly fine for me to use just this real aggressive DPS style game in here or in this game. I need to use more of the right trigger. I don't use a lot of it, and the right trigger has some really good attacks. It has some really like wide sweeping, more AOE type uh, attacks than just the right bumper. All right, Brody, it's boss time, isn't it? Uh, no, I have to get the dog tags. Okay, yeah, I forgot. I forgot about the dog tags. Um, do we get any better gear that I need to equip? Does not look like it. I always forget about this one, the dog tags. This is actually, they actually, a lot of these areas, they have you do like something very short in them and then that's it. This one actually has kind of like a story behind it and it has some pieces to it. It's actually one of the better like thought out areas, I think, in, in, my, in my opinion. I, be, I believe this is one of the better thought out areas in all of Black Desert with its quests and all of that different stuff. And I really, I really do like this area. It's one of my favorite areas. A lot of my favorite areas are these beginning areas. I think they do a great job with the mob placements, and I think they do a great job overall with um, content for the area. I like the bosses. Uh, so, yeah, that's just, you know, obviously my opinion on it. But I do think they did a much better air job with the beginning of the game. There's some really great after like end game areas but i do really like i like the variety of the enemies and all of that different stuff in the early areas and the quests and everything it i think they just do a good job i don't know i really have only gotten one tag so far kind of crazy this guy's giving me one nope this guy you're giving me. what is happening here how many, there we go. I was going to say, how many of these dudes do I have to slaughter? I know there's only... Okay, there we go. We got back-to-back -back tags there. Nice. I know, like, obviously I have to kill specific ones, but that was kind of crazy. We were getting, like, no tags. None of these guys are the guys I need to kill. All right, dude. I'll leave you to farm that area over there. Just need a couple more tags. One tag here. Hopefully... Please give me a tag. No. Nope. Okay, here we go. I found some over here. I was gonna say, uh, it's a little bit. Might have to wait for the respawn, which that would have sucked. Okay, there's that one, and that actually completed it. Nice. I'll slaughter you guys, and then we'll go turn this in. I believe it's boss time, then. I believe... I believe it's boss. Might be wrong, but I believe it's boss. Should be the orc captain boss. Then we'll probably wrap this video up. It'll be a good time to call it. The orc area, I actually, you know, I actually like it because I think it's it's a really good timed out area. It's like a 30 minute area. It provides you with pretty good stuff to do. I know I'm just kind of repeating myself here, but I do honestly feel like this is one of the better, like, campaign areas that they've fledged out. Fishing Master 17. What a, what a guy. Okay, Relentless Days, complete that, and should be boss time, yes, the Greedy Overlord. Okay, well, okay, never mind, I was gonna say I need to take that, or I need to accept that uh, black gift, but I'll get it at the end of the boss fight, because I should complete the boss fight, and then it should be, they moved this boss fight, I thought it was over there in the corner before where that beam of light is. Am I going to the right quest? I think I... Where is this taking me? I swear it was always back... I swear it was always back in, like, that corner back there, but... I guess not? I guess, I guess not? Maybe? Who knows? I don't know where this is taking me. This is kind of new. I kind of hope they move the boss, because I didn't like where it was. That was, like, the one complaint. If I had to complain about this area... And what I believe almost is a flawless area in this game is that the boss placement was just kind of random. It was kind of out by that corner. Where am I going? Now this doesn't make any sense. They went from putting it in an area close that kind of made sense, but then kind of didn't, to uh, where on earth am I going? Where is this taking me? What? 
Huh? They moved the boss all the way up there? I am kind of spooked. Okay, well, I'll see you guys up there. This will take me a minute to run there, so I'll see you guys in a second. I don't know what on earth why it was moved up here, but it was. Okay, so we have arrived, and I guess this is actually where it was the whole time. I don't know why I thought it was there, but yeah, this is the weird cliff edge thing that... Okay, I'm just stupid. This I don't remember having to run halfway across the map to do this, though. I, for some reason, I always remembered... I always remembered it being, like, right in the orc camp. I don't remember having to run all the way up here, but whatever, it doesn't really matter. It's the same boss fight, same area. Who cares? Let's just fight the boss. My recollection of things is whatever, but... <laughs> I want to see... Ha ha ha, look at that. I want to see how much damage he does. Like, zero. Maybe? I can't, I can't really tell. Why is your health bar not popping up on my screen? There we go. Or maybe I'm... Now, there's no way I deal no damage to this guy. I fail to believe that I deal no damage to him. I don't know, but he's a lot tougher than everything we've fought so far. I'm gonna get a heal off. And he's dead. Can my buddy, can my buddy beast here just, like, not die? Because that is... That's kind of sick if he can just never die. That would be really awesome. I'd be very happy about that. Okay, so another boss done. Next we have the world from something. It's, it don't really. Journey to Serendia. I've completed that. We have another black spirit gift. So we can complete that for some black stones. Complete that for more black stones. Uh, is this an orc quest? Yeah, it's an orc quest. Alright, the world from above. So yeah, this is the harpy area. Not my favorite area in the game. This area, I feel like they could have done a better job on. It's just kind of not great. I don't know. It'll probably be in the next episode. But also, don't be surprised if in the next episode, I just straight skip that area. Because it's kind of a terrible area. There's a little bit of killing harpies that you do, but overall, you mostly just go there, you do a couple of mini quests, and then you you leave, so I don't know. Maybe I'll do it in the next episode, maybe I won't, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode with whatever we do. Uh, I'll catch you guys then. Peace.